Hello and good morning. This is Rob from MSRL Gaming. Uh, as you do notice since our last episode, the tree has grown and it has become quite a bit of a monstrosity. As you see, that's the reason why I've got the sickle here. Alright. And uh, between this episode and last, I've actually... Uh, the, great, the tree actually has grown several times since uh, this episode and last one, uh, just so you know, and I am completely honest with y'all, uh, it's grown about three, maybe four times, enough for me to make a barrel and have some wood left over, plus make some uh, tools, alright, let's see, yeah, that's as low as I'm going to get it, and time to cut it down. What magic is this? It's tree pillar. And we'll just throw in another sapling there and we'll wait for all that to uh, dissipate. I've also collected a few apples, a total of I think like three because I've had to eat two. I did start this world on a land server. You can try and copy that down all you want, you can try connecting, but unless you're on my uh, internet connection network, you will not be able to join me. Ever so sorry. But yeah. So, let's get out of that. And, uh, hmm. Oh, thank you. I know, we're waiting around for that thing to finish despawning. See, I want to build a barrel. So there we go. So that I can actually place some cobblestone in it. Let's see. Thank you. Thought I saw something up there, but I didn't. As you notice, I do have quite a bit of uh, that, and I also mined quite a bit of cobblestone. So, we'll put this barrel right there. And we'll stack the cobblestone inside. Alright. So now, we are waiting for this to finish despawning. said there was a mob over there, but I can't see it. But, uh, if you're wondering why I'm looking over that way, I'll show you. That chest right there, that's sitting on top of all that, has obsidian and a few other odd and end things, and I am especially going to want the cactus. So that, uh, I can make some waterproof piping. Oh, come on. You're going to make me get up on top of this, ain't you? Thank you. And I say I wouldn't be collecting all these saplings if I didn't have the magnet mode on. And maybe I'll get another apple out of this tree. Maybe, maybe not. I will create a mob spawner uh, pretty soon. Sorry about that. Uh, but we've only been like, oh, say about four minutes into the video. Uh, as you notice, I have redone the cobblestone generator. I've also cleared out the uh, dirt blocks underneath it and everything else and as you see we've got 39 of our original dirt blocks still now. So I could actually create a tree farm which I'm going to make off in that direction and I'll probably split off from here but uh, those will be later episodes. Oh, thanks. <laughs> 23 oak wood saplings. Alright, but uh, what I really want to do is I want to go ahead and get over there, and I don't think I can do it with two stacks of 64. Especially do it the way I want to. So, uh, we're going to try our best. And we're going to actually make a little pathway, and of course we're going to need some torches too. Uh, let's see, how many torches do we got? We've only got three... Uh, let's see, how many sticks do I got in there? Five. Uh, we'll take 
two out of that. Excuse me, I feel like belching, but I'm trying to resist the urge. Now we got 11. Okay, so let's get over here. And as you notice, my hunger is developing. Three wide path, and we'll go ahead and start doing this here. So that's the sun on the other side of the world that you're seeing. Oh! Mob area. Let's go ahead and build up to it here. So we don't have any mobs spawning and place two torches. There we go. That keeps that null and void there. Sticky key. I hate sticky keys. In uh, the earlier versions of Minecraft, you didn't really have the sticky key problem that much. But in the later versions, you did, and you still do. Alright. Now let's keep this going here, shall we? I like to do a three wide path, that way you know it's easier for me to maneuver and everything else across it if need be. Now, as you can tell, we're actually, if I press X here, we're almost to the halfway point, and you see what just spawned over there. You see him. I really want a mob grinder now. Because <laughs> that would help with the tree. But, that's one of those things. Now, see, I don't want to update the data for the sand blocks there until after I've collected a few blocks of sand. Alright. Now, as you see, we're pretty much halfway from our starting point. And him. Uh, that guy right there. But yeah, like I said, I didn't figure I was going to make it all the way with two stacks of 64, so. Goes to show how far it really is. Now, if I had just done it straight out, you know, one line, yeah, I would have more than made it and been able to come back and put a little bit of some stuff here and there. Why do I still have a leaf block up there in the air? That is going to annoy the crap out of me. Let's go see what's dropped, if anything. Hmm. Nothing. Okay. Well. Looks like he's despawned. Yep. He has. The chest. I've only got three, and that's enough to do that. So what I'll do is I'll cut the video here, and uh, we'll come back as soon as I have several more stacks of cobblestone. So see you in just a minute. Alrighty, and I'm back. As you notice, I do have two stacks of 64 cobblestone, like I was saying. And if you look at the durability on my uh, pick... Yeah, it's uh, about gone. But uh, anyways, we're going to finish making our way over. And I also made some more torches, so yeah, shoot me. Now, uh, Mike has yet to confirm when he'd be available to 
do a let's play so that we can post it onto the channel for y'all to watch. He uh, has been quite busy with his real life job, whereas I have no job. It's like I'm not even living real life, <laughs> more or less. My day consists of me literally just doing this, playing, well not just doing Skyblock, but playing games. And as you see, the tree has grown. So, before we get going on that tree, we are going to go ahead and get this going because, and a lot of y'all would know that Skyblock is supposed to be for vanilla Minecraft. Well, the whole reason why I've got it in FTB is because of a couple of options or a couple of tools I can actually make and use, which would help out in the long run. Especially when I'm in need of gr dirt or grass or sand. And that item is called a minimum stone. This item here. Now, how I can make that, I need to get some shards of minimum from mob drops. And it requires to make requires eight of those and it requires an inert stone. How to make an inert stone is exactly how you see here. Four iron, four stone, and one gold ingot. And I bet you're thinking, okay, how are you going to get iron and gold? Well, zombies do drop iron ingots. How I'm going to get the gold ingot, though, is by the requirement of a nether portal. So let me turn off my NEI again and hold shift and get back out here to building this little walkway here for us. So <coughs> we can actually get out here to where we need to be or where I want us to be anyways before it gets too dark and mobs start spawning in on our walkway. Because I really can't tolerate that. As you notice, we are close. We are so close. But I don't think these last 31 stones are going to get us there. Might, if we're lucky. They might. But I doubt it. Because, as you see... Let's go ahead and pop a torch there because see I need to do this <laughs> can't even reach it yet but if you notice mobs will still be spawning there and I will have an archer <laughs> shoot at me from there and hit me because I'm within his shot range evidently yeah I'm out of coffee. So with the last six, before we get something spawning over there, well, actually, we won't get anything spawning while I'm out here, hopefully. We'll go ahead and do that. And that leaves us with one, which is good, because I'll need it for the sand. Because I'll only get, I think, about seven pieces. Alright, so let's go ahead and throw that back in. And take a look here. Uh, I only, I don't even think I'm going to get three. Ooh, I'll be lucky if I get two more. Ah, oh, nice. Okay. So let's see, one, two, why is that not working? Oh, 
Probably because it goes in that last slot. I don't know. Hmm. I was working just a minute ago. Hmm. Maybe I gotta have my NEI on. There we go. Yeah, I gotta have my NEI on for that to work. Okay. Good to know. Let's go ahead and get another pick. And kill this off with a couple more swings with it. And auto refill is on, so. As you see. Now we're actually going to take care of that tree real quick, because it's starting to get annoying. It's starting to annoy me. Now, anyone that's played FTB knows that the sickle is part of a Red Power 2 mod, which is in Feed the Beast. So, there we go. An extra sapling. Yay. And more wood. So now, let's see, I got eight there. Pop those back in. There we go. Go ahead and torch up, or burn up, eight more. So we can have plenty of coal. Because we're going to need it. Go ahead and slap that back in there. And I'll come back at you when I have a bit more resources. Well, actually, we've only got like three minutes for the episode. And I doubt you'll want to see me, you know, building out to there <laughs> on the rest of that. So, uh, what I may wind up doing is cutting this episode. And uh, it will be a short episode. I know that my last episode was only 15 minutes and 17 seconds. But that's because the timer I was running on at that point in time was an egg timer, so there was no way to pause it, and it was continuously running. So, yeah. Um, hopefully this episode will you know, be a little bit longer. I know it will be with us having now a little less than three minutes. So, uh, yeah, this has been Rob from MSRL Gaming. Sign it off. So, we hope to see you here in our next video and have fun with your life and be happy.